screenshotted that. I did screenshot that. Michael Gorman said, well, you pump up low IQ goons, that's who they try to hire now under 100 IQ, arm them with high-tech weapons and tell them they are saviors, put them in roaming packs so they affirm each other's power. You are asking for brutality and mayhem. What a murderous bunch of thugs these guys are. And that's it. It's mob psychology. Let's go ahead and go to this special report. Because remember, this is what the globalists have put in across the country under the threat fusion centers and the training while they prepare to stage the false flag to totally take over. And then cops, you're not going to get away with this in the Civil War. You're meant to be destroyed in the Civil War. So hopefully you have some self-preservation instincts in you because uh, you will be destroyed in this war. Let's go ahead and go to this video. Man standing behind Boulder, walks out, they detonate flashbang, release dog to begin biting him in the genitals. James M. Boyd is dead. His crime, sleeping behind a line of boulders at a state park outside Albuquerque, New Mexico. A group of heavily armed police with a German Shepherd attack dog came upon him and ordered him to walk down the hill. When he began to come down the hill, we're going to go through the unedited footage, they released the police dog on him, throw a flashbang grenade at him, he turns to run, pulls something out of his pockets, and they shoot him in the back. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't make fun of me! Now, we pause the video there where the suspect, James Boyd, appears to be turning away from officers. And now, that's all the public has seen up until that point. The mainstream media stops the video right there when they pull the trigger and shoot him in the back. What comes next is the true horror. They allow the dog to chew and continue to bite on him. They step on his arms. They shoot him more with the beanbag guns, and it looks like they shoot him with a real firearm at least one more time. They then handcuff his dead body and hyperventilate, acting like they're scared of him. And so it's okay what they've done. When you look at this in context, it's bad enough. But when you see all the other things they've done in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and gotten away with, like pepper spraying a woman's genitalia to, quote, punish her, or giving a man eight anal probes and enemas looking for illegal drugs they never found from a routine traffic stop. You realize what a dangerous place Albuquerque is to visit. And then you find out there is a long train of very suspicious cases of police killing people and calling it suicide in Albuquerque and the surrounding counties. You realize this is another one of these boss hog kingdoms where the police know they're above the law. Watching the footage is extremely disturbing, and we're going to play it all unedited from end to end for you right now. This was shot from a gun camera that one of the police officers has. And when you see this man talking to them calmly, and seconds later he's dead, you realize how dangerous this militarization of police has become. The New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, they've all reported now on what I began warning you about 19 years ago. The federalization and the militarization of police under the RAND Corporation National Stability Police Force Plan, which is designed to turn our country into a martial law system. If you were down at a bar or a, a bus stop, I have the right to kill you right now because you're trying to take me over. Don't get stupid with me. We're not going to get stupid. You said we were walking out of here and now you're, you're bringing up assault and everybody's going to get hurt again? All right, don't change up your agreement. I'm going to try to walk with you. All right. Love, folks. Try to arm me. If you were, I can keep you safe. All right? Don't worry about safety. I'm not a fucking murderer. All right? Try. Try to arm me. Try to arm you.
moving got, up. Still got the knives in his hand. Now they release the dog on the guy who's shot in the back. He's not moving. Still armed. Get your hands out. Get Drop your hands the knife. Hear him say, I can't move. He's paralyzed. Put your hands out to your side and drop the knife. Hands Get your hands up. We only shot bean you in the back. Bag, bag. So they the shoot him a bunch the with a 12 gauge beanbag at about 15 feet away that'll kill you. And that does kill him. Negative effect. That's three so times on the spine with a beanbag gun. Uh, I can get him on him. Yeah. I don't want that knife in his head. Yeah. Yeah, we just you know, killed somebody. He's still alive, though. Let the dog bite him some. Come on, let the dog have a little fun, too. There you go. Bite his leg. Good, good. Step on that right hand real hard. Step on that right hand real hard. He's got a knife in each hand. Knife in each hand. Knife in each hand. It's blood on the rock where his face bashed. Rex, close. I got left. Good on they treat him like an animal, they'll be treated like that. I'm going to switch you. All right. Let's put him in handcuffs. You got lethal right there? Yes. I have lethal. These guys are all really excited right now. They're all going to have bad car wrecks. Their kids are going to get cancer. I mean, this is how it works. I've seen it. I know those cops are going to watch this later and laugh. You'll be laughing later because you know who you got to deal with. Heard that Johnny Cash song? You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later. These are all wannabe soldiers. Because it's unedited tape, but we cut off some of the first as it goes on and on. They're like, hey, we're going to you know, shoot you if you don't come down. He's like, hey, nobody needs to get hurt. I'm fine. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to come down. And they were so scared of him. There's his evil camp. Oh, my gosh. This is so evil. A homeless guy. Now let's tear through his belongings. We're already taking his life. Let's try to find something so we can incriminate him. Oh, too bad they didn't find anything. That letter came out. And they dig through his. He won't need to do that anymore. I'm good here. Got his bottled water. Radio. Just just a little man out there in the, out there with the rattlesnakes. Looks like about three miles from any houses. All right. Our country is converting to tyranny. The police are being given the power of judge, jury, and executioner. We've seen cases where the police shoot the young black man in the back while he's handcuffed for no reason. The bullet bounces back up into his heart, he shooting him twice. Brown, face down. Then, after what appears to be a struggle, a BART officer puts his knee to Grant's neck and head, and another officer steps back, draws his gun, and fires it once into Grant's back. His friends... And we see so many other cases where the police execute people. We know in the military, most people join because of family or because of patriotism and a desire to serve. But we know a minority, criminology states about 15%, get in because they legally want to kill people in a psychopathic fashion, simply to kill people. Police forces are the exact same thing. And once you get psychopaths in them, they begin recruiting others and you get a culture of psychopaths. Now, these police are either psychopaths or, this is more common, they are so scared and taught instinctive shooting that it's all about a cult of their safety, so they will shoot first and ask questions later. You see them attacking homeless people, shooting autistic children, attacking old people, folks in wheelchairs. Just a crazed attitude of, you will do what I say, you will respect my authority. You see the dog gnawing on this guy. You see the police dog biting on him after he's been shot repeatedly. You see them stepping on him and then handcuffing him after he's clearly been killed. And finally, you see the police chief defending it, saying they did a great job. Actually, if you watch the videotape, all the less than lethal devices were in fact deployed. The public knows and everyone can watch the footage that this is the extermination of a man who's homeless camping behind a rock. More and more Americans are going homeless, more and more people are going bankrupt and it is frightening to see this man and others like in the case of Kelly Thomas being tortured to death by police for the crime of sleeping outside at night. <laughs> He's 
Even the most ignorant of the American people know that we're becoming an authoritarian police state, that the checks and balances are being removed. We all know North Korea is a horrible authoritarian dictatorship based on a police state. We know Mexico is. We know Nigeria is. We know Saudi Arabia is. But our government won't even criticize those regimes anymore, like Saudi Arabia. Because tyranny is now the policy worldwide. Europe's converting to tyranny. England's converting to it. We're converting to it. It's happening all over the world. And it is the most dangerous threat to humanity. Governments killed 262 million people in the 20th century. The number one cause of death is government. Our founders said that it is the number one danger. George Washington said government is like fire, a dangerous servant, a fearful master. It's time to rediscover that common sense and to get the police and the government and the system and the bureaucrats back under control. The only reason the police are being given this much power and allowed to get away with what I believe is clearly cold-blooded execution is because the power structure wants to have this paramilitary force in place to oppress the people. And that's on record. The drones, the NSA, the taser drones, the citizen spies. This is not what a free society is about. Liberty brings prosperity. Tyranny is going to bring bondage and poverty. It's not too late to start valuing human life again. It's not too late to say no to the new world order. It's not too late to rediscover the Renaissance, the Magna Carta, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and Western civilization. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and InfoWars Nightly News. Back to David Knight. And that is from the Nightly News last night, 7 o'clock weeknights, and we are only able to bring you this hardcore, beyond cutting edge, battering ram of liberty information because of all your support over the years. And I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate uh, your support. And I appreciate the good police. FBI, federal marshals, state police, local police around the country that have given us so much accurate intel. In fact, it's almost everything I've ever been given by our sources has turned out to be real, been accurate. There's not even that many bad people in the system. It's that the bad is generally close to the top and is allowed to operate with impunity because all the good men do nothing. All the good women do nothing, as our founders said. So we need to change this, this hunter, killer, seek and destroy policy of if some guy turns to run away, you shoot him and kill him and then let a police dog bite him and then, and then, and then get off on it because these guys have played too much call of duty. Before I end this hour, speaking of supporting the broadcast, you can get 11 memberships for $5.95 a month and share them. For to see the nightly news. We just charge that to pay for the bandwidth and the cameras and the reporters and things. Your prisonplanet.tv memberships are so essential to our operation. If you have a membership, share your membership. If you don't, it takes about a minute to sign up. Prisonplanet.tv. And don't forget InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, where you can find the Survival Shield, nice and iodine proprietary, the fluoride shield uh, detoxifier that doesn't just take out the fluoride, but a lot of heavy metals and things. Uh, the new super silver bullet, the little silver we developed, the strongest out there, folks. Go check out the write-up on it. And it's not for regular use, by the way. It's pretty much emergency use. Consult your physician. Everything we bring out is super high-powered. InfoWarsLife.com. Stay with us. Second hour coming up. Thank you for listening. Greg Palace and more. Visit GCNlive.com today. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramine.